today I'm going to show how to use this mini test 740 coating thickness sketch and what is the benefit of it it can interchangeable probe which is can change this probe by unscrew it there so we put that in okay the probe will be separate into the another plastic so to connect it we have to open it and connect it if the probe is defective we can change into a new probe and this is the the probe cap to replace it to another probe cap we can change it this is the different size of it so we just put it in and screw it back that's all we will show how to use mini test 740 by pushing the side button to turn on and we will blink a light there is a selection of ferrous and non ferrous or auto this indicate battery level batch standard and selection of ferrous or non ferrous clock settings number of reading status statistic reading and unit okay i will show the features first of all i will show this the menu database and this database consists of 100 batch 100. to change the batch we have to go to the 01 and press ok change you can in calibration mode you can change to factory ISO, SPS, rough, Australian, Swedish, or manual. But currently we will set as factory mode. And substrate we can set auto, non ferrous, ferrous, and we will set with auto. And measuring mode we can set single reading scan mode and upper limit and lower limit is you can set according to the sample and just press ok and ok ok for the second one display we can on or off the this backlight or lower and upper the contrast and we can set the time and the date uh, and the format also language and measuring unit switch off mode depends on you want to set after 10 minute or 3 minute signal light short on off long on signal tone low off and loud sensor data is to display the probe serial number hardware software and data set gauge data which is showing the gauge type, serial number, hardware, software, com prop. Okay. To show the statistic, press and statistic, OK. And for example, this is the batch number, number of reading taken, 
mean, standard deviation, and variance. This upper and lower limit is according to the sample that you set. To check the reading, we have to go to the reading, press OK. For example, the reading has been taken in this number of batch 01. This is the reading of has been taken. And to print, print to print the result, you require to com require to co uh, connect to computer by having the infrared. Delete. Delete is to delete the memory for the batch. Press yes to delete all. Okay, now we have to do calibration by pressing cow. And there's two selection of ferrous and non ferrous. We are now currently doing ferrous and press OK. And this is the ferrous plate. And we are doing this zero calibration and place the sensor on the zero plate. And there's a reading come out and press OK. And now we have to put standard foil, which is 61.6 micron meter, and place on the plate. And the sensor will be placed on the foil. And then the reading will be show 64.8 micron meter. But according to the FOIL is 61.6, so we have to set by pressing the down button. Set until 61.6. And press OK. OK, now we'll be doing the second calibration, which is 239.6 micrometer. And use place the sensor on top of the foil and the reading will be show 249.5 micrometer and we have to set according to the standard 239.6 pressing down the but arrow button and reach to 239 and press ok and ok the calibration has been done for ferrous and non ferrous will be the same procedure. We need to use infrared adapter. This is the USB port. This is the adapter. And this is the infrared. And the model is ACT IR2002UL. In order to communicate, we require this disk which is to allow the adapter to activate next we, are, have, we have to install msoft to view the data ok now we have to install the adapter before that we have to install the software by putting this, this first before plugging in the dogger And now there is a pop-up show up. Just click any button of it to continue the installation. And the installation will be start. And now we click finish button. Close this. And the installation will be done automatic. After the in installation of the adapt infrared adapter have been done, and now we have to connect the USB port to the laptop in order to check the adapter whether is it have been installed or not. And there's a pop up. Now we have to go to the administrative tools, computer management, 
device manager and check for infrared device and there's a most most chip installed in this laptop so that is the confirmation for it and now we have to open the manual If the driver is unsuccessful install, please refer to topic 13, manual update the driver, manually update the driver. And from this guide, it will show you how to update the driver by clicking right click on the device. and there's a pop-up show then just click next and we have to just follow the procedure given by the manual then it will be successful install and next we have to install the IRCOM which is we can we can choose either one of the link given by the user menu by clicking it after that we have to choose the suitable language which is English and IRCOM 2K click it and download it this software is a third party which is given by 32 bit support with windows xp or windows 7 as long as 32 bit After the download has been complete, we have to install it by cl clicking up the setup and click install and press yes. Okay, after the installation of IRCOM 2K setup is done, then we have to check whether is the port is installed or not. By checking that, we have to go to the control panel. Administrative 2, Computer Management, Device, and look for ports. And this is our currently installation has been successful virtual IR com port com 11 okay now we have to install our next MS soft and okay, now we go to my computer double click and install msoft and choose the language o English ok next next yes next install and finish okay after the installation of msoft complete and now we are able to communicate by pressing the file settings interface then you click rs232 select com11 because currently our com is install is 
com 11 communication number 11 so uh, after that we click ok and now we can place it the infrared together in and we have to click the refresh button so it will connect and there's a pop-up come out which is mini test 740 double click it and the batch will be showing up and you can press the batch to download it you click it download the data over to the file explorer and press the download button it will show up 00.ms7 and you can view all the data in here overview statistic reading number that means uh, you can view the data histogram and trend data overview batch name user creation and modification data system data gauge that tab gauge serial number gauge sensor tab sensor serial number and calibration and statistic you can view distribution of reading limit extreme value batch parameter statistic process capability and reading that show the number of reading has been taken by the mini test 740 histogram and trend di diagram okay now we click 01.ms7 and we will review batch name in the overview user creation data modification data system data gauge type gauge salary number sensor type sensor serial number and calibration and you can overview the statistic reading which is number of taken histogram and trend diagram and for addition info you can refer to help that will show you others information if there's a troubleshooting and one more thing if you would like to save in the excel format by clicking 01.ms7 and click excel document then save and desktop file name save okay zero and this is will be showing the in excel form